Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use J tabbed pane in your Eclipse GUI Java application. So first of all, in what cases we can use J tabbed uh, pane? Uh, whenever you have a concise uh, space, for example, this tab, this tab. So J tabbed pane is working like this. It has some tabs and under each tab it has some uh, its own functionality okay so this login tab has the code this employee info has some other design of my employee info this other Java file has some other functionality so the J tabbed pane works like this it has some panes or uh, some tabs which you can choose and choose the uh, function or the code which you want to execute. So let's see how we can use J tabbed pane. Just go to your containers and just click J tabbed pane and make a square in your form. So just go there, make a square. Okay. So once you make a square, it will give you this white space and which will not look like a J tabbed pane. You need to uh, make it look like a J tapped pane, and how you can make uh, look make it look like a J tapped pane is adding panels to it. Yes, not tabs, but panels. So one, just take a panel from here. I will take this panel and drag and drop inside this tabbed pane. Okay, and when I drag and drop, or not drag and drop, but I will. Uh, push this J panel inside this J tab pane you will see one tab is made now for example you want to add some more tabs you can just click this J panel and go there and when you see this red line here on the side of your tab just click your button and second tab will be added like, like this okay now you have two tabs right tab 1 and tab 2 but still you need to uh, give some layout to this so that you can uh, you can push your component inside your tab so I will use this absolute layout once again in this tab panel and I will just leave this absolute layout in this panel first of all and then I can use any of my component like button inside my tab or some table if I want to show I will push this table in some in second tab so this is my tab 2 I will use absolute layout for this also and then I will push my J table inside this okay and I will make it a little bit bigger and little bit bigger So you can see okay so you, you have this table in one tab and this button in other tab right and when you run the program by the way have I told you this quick test this there is a small little button here called quick test and you can just click this and see how your layout is uh, looking like okay so in this way you can see your layout okay now when I run the program it will work fine and it will work like a tab pane right you have this tab here and it will work like this okay so tab 1 and tab 2 now I want to give the name to this tab. This only shows the heading new tab, new tab, but it's not uh, enough for us to know which tab is doing what. So I will go to the source code and search for this tab where uh, the definition of this tab is. And then let me search for the definition first. Here is our definition for the tab. Okay, 
j tab pane tabbed pane here and you will find two panels here panel one this one and you will find one more panel just below this which is this one inside your tab okay so in here instead of new tab you can change the text to for example this tab shows button so I will uh, say this is the button and the other tab shows uh, the table so the other tab name I can change it to table but you can give any logical name to your tab and now when I run the program and you will see button here as a heading and second ha has this table right so this has table and this has button so in this way you can add more tabs to your uh, this tab and add more functionality in a uh, limited space in your uh, J form suppose you want to add one more tab or tab inside tab so for example you have this tab and you want this tab to be inside some other tab so just select this tab right click it and just you can say surround with once again javax.swing.tab pane and this will be surrounded with uh, another tab okay and then you can fill the parent tab by new tabs right and when I run this program you have first tab in which you have two tabs one for table one for button and you have another tab which doesn't have any anything inside it okay so in this way you can use J tab pin in your Eclipse GUI application. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.